हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू पेप कोडिंग टू टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन विच इज सब्जेक्ट टू लिंक लिस्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू सब्जेक्ट टू डेटा ऑफ टू लिंक लिस्ट एज वी वर डूइंग इन एडिशन वी वर एडिंग द डेटा देयर बट इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू सब्जेक्ट सो सपोज दिस इज आर लिस्ट फाइव फोर एट टू एंड दिस इज आर थर्ड सेकेंड लिंक लिस्ट थ्री Two, four. We have to subtract the data, but if we are doing this, uh, we can't do this right like this because we don't know the size, so we can't start this list from here. So for that, we need to take the reverse of this list and this list. Take reverse of this and this. Reverse will be. Two, eight, four, five, nine, and nine. For this, four, two, three. Now we can subtract. Uh, we have performed similar task in the addition question also. So if you haven't watched that question, you need you first need to go and watch that video, solve that question. Then you will understand this. um way better now if we are subtracting 4 from 2 then uh, we will what we will get we will get minus 2 but we need this in positive value if we are adding 10 in this before that before that uh if we want to positive we need to take borrow from here then we will add Ten here, then we will subtract from twelve. All right, but what if we add ten directly here? Then again we will, uh, then we will get eight. And if we are doing this, then again we will get eight. So what we will do is we will subtract it like this. We will uh, write this. whenever we are taking borrow that means if our difference is less than 0 then we need to take borrow then borrow will be equals to minus 1 and difference will be increased by 10 else borrow will equals to 0 all right so uh, we will perform the task like this C one will start from here. C two will start from here, and here we will take a head dummy node from where iterator will start, and this will store the answer. Then in the end we will return reverse of head dot next. Okay, now we have. we just have to check some conditions only what if we have this list 9999999 we have similar data in both the list if we subtract similar data then what we get we will get zero instead of returning the linked list of zero can't we simply return zero we will uh, see this again uh, we will we will have to take this condition also in our mind then we will go now let's start with the code first i need to write the function for reverse reverse list node act If head is equals to equals to null, is equals to equals to null, or or head dot next is equals to equals to null, then simply return head. Previous is equals to null 
करंट इज इक्वल टू हेड एंड फॉरवर्ड इज इक्वल टू हेड ऑल्सो वाइल करंट इज नॉट इक्वल टू नल वी नीड टू रन द लूप फॉरवर्ड विल बी अपडेटेड बाय करंट डॉट नेक्स्ट करंट डॉट नेक्स्ट विल बी अपडेटेड बाय प्रीवियस एंड प्रीवियस विल बी अपडेटेड बाय करंट एंड करंट बाय फॉरवर्ड we will simply return previous all right this was our uh, reverse function okay now here we will check some condition what if my l1 is equals to equals to null if my l1 is null then l2 will become negative value present in l2 will become negative because any number if we uh, subtract any number from 0 then uh, we will get negative number here and we will simply return l2 and if l2 is equals to equals to null then we will simply return L one because L two is not if L two is not present then L one will be the only remaining uh, list. Now we need to find length because what if L two is greater than L one? For that we need to find length static int length. node int plan is equals to 0 now while node is not equals to null we need to run the loop node is equals to node dot next and if we are getting the next node that means we have to increase our length by 1 then we will simply return length and now the int length 1 is equals to length and 1 int length 2 is equals to length of l2 if length 1 is less than Length two. That means L one is less than L two. Then we will simply swap our list because in every step I will assume that L one is greater than L two. So, but in reality, if L one is smaller than L two, then uh, what will happen? We will not get the correct answer. So. If I am assuming that L one is greater than L two, uh, but in reality, if it is not true, so that uh, if it is not true, then I will simply swap the list so that again, uh, if my L two will become L one, then uh, if my list one is this is my list one one two. Three, four, and this is my list two. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm assuming that in every task I'm uh, every task I'm performing, I'm assuming that my L one is uh, greater than L two. But here my L two is greater than L one. In that case, I will swap this like this. This list will become L one. And this will become L two. I hope I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. 
I am creating a save node which will store L1 in L1 I will put L2 and in L2 I will store save now I just need to create C1 which is reverse of reverse of L1 and C2 which is reverse of L2 then again I will create head now iterator iterator will point head initially and borrow is initially which is initially zero now while c1 is not equals to null why i am uh, not taking c2 because i know that c1, c1 will be greater every time so if it will become null that means my uh, my c2 has already been ended is my c2 if i am uh, taking c1 as greater list then if i am present uh, i am uh, initially if i am here that means i have already performed all the task which was needed and my c2 and in my c2 there is no any element left now int difference is equals to borrow plus c1 dot well minus i have to check for c2 that if c2 is not equals to null then i will return c2 dot well otherwise i will return zero what does it line indicate uh, this line indicates suppose here my borrow was minus one uh i need to subtract two from eight my borrow was minus one borrow plus c1 dot well that means eight minus two if i'm doing this that means eight minus one seven minus two and seven minus two five you will get five here that's what uh, we want so that's why i have write this now if difference is less than zero my borrow will become minus one and difference will increase by n else borrow is equals to zero now i just need to uh, not put my answer in iterator iterator dot next is equals to new list node now i need to just put the difference here now iterator is equals to iterator dot next i need to move my iterator also also i need to move my c1 to c1 dot next and for c2 i need to check if c2 is not equals to null then i will uh, move my c2 to c2 dot next all right now here i need to take care of that condition which condition that in both of my list there is similar data present then i need to 
return zero instead of this uh, uh, list of zero for that i am creating a list return node i will return this node before that i need to i need the reverse answer head dot next now i will run the loop till my red node is not equals return node is not equals to null i need to check if return node dot well is not equals to zero then i will simply return return node or else i will move my return node to next and in the end i will return zero let's try to run the code we'll see if we are getting any error uh, we are not getting any error successfully running let's try to submit all the test cases have been passed so i hope you have understand the concept if not then you can watch the video again uh, before that you need to cover previous questions also so that you can understand this question better we'll meet in another question again thank uh, till then thank you so much tata bye bye